Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Good morning and welcome. We hope you'll all stay after the service for croissants and jam and coffee. We had quite a lot left from our carols and croissants the other day, which was a great success. So to start our service off this morning, we are going to sing hymn number 684, 684. We turn to our order of service. From the rising of the sun till its setting in the west, God's holy name be praised. On the lips of children, by the babies at the breast, God's holy name be praised. In the visions of the old, in the dreaming of the young, God's holy name be praised. In the banquet hall of heaven and the forgotten corners of our hearts, God's holy name be praised. Let all that has life and breath praise the Lord. Amen. We praise the Lord. We come now to our prayer of preparation. Together, we say, we have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, to pray for the needs of the world, and to seek the forgiveness of our sins, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we may give ourselves to the service of God. Prayers of penitence. Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
we confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. The Venite. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. This is the word of the Lord. The second reading is Acts chapter 19, verses 1 to 7. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, into what then were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 of them. This is the word of the Lord. We're now going to hy sing hymn number 153, Eternal Father, strong to save, 153.
The Gospel is taken from Mark, chapter 1, verses 4 to 11. And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. And he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message. After me comes the one more powerful than I, the strands of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. This is the word of the Lord. Please stand. We're now going to say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Colic for today in celebration of the baptism of Christ. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one not God, now and forever. Amen. O God of all justice and peace, we cry out to you in the midst of pain, to, of the midst of the pain and trauma of violence and fear which prevails in Eastern Europe and the Middle East. We pray for the innocent, for women, men and children who are displaced, whose lives are disrupted and who live in fear of the atrocities of war. 
We pray for those in power, that they may make resolute and public decisions not to use force, but to seek peaceful solutions to disputes and disagreements. We pray for people of all faiths, especially for Jews, Muslims, and Christians. We also pray for King Charles and our government and the other leaders of the world. Sharpen their consciences and give them the courage to make wise decisions, making wrongs right and meeting the needs of all who suffer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting God, at this time when we focus on the baptism of our Lord, let us remember our own baptisms and our calling to be Christians. May our hearts be filled with joy and love for you and for all whom we meet along our journey. Help us to understand the mystery of the baptism of your Son, to walk in your way, to live our lives for you, and to be mindful of your presence day by day. United by our common baptism, may we always welcome the newcomer, the strangers, and those who are vulnerable. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you sent a star to guide the wise men to Bethlehem. We pray that you will send your Holy Spirit to guide us as we begin the new year. We know that this coming year will bring significant changes and we pray that you will be always present as we take each step along the journey of faith. In particular, today we pray for all those involved in education as they return to school and university. We pray that their efforts will be justly rewarded and they will achieve their full potential. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we pray for your church, for bishops, priests and deacons, for readers and lay ministers, for church wardens and our PCCs, and they that they and we will know how to strike the right balance for the benefit of our own community. In the Holy Trinity's current period of interregnum, we thank you for the support we are receiving from retired voluntary clergy, and we pray that you will give us the foresight and wisdom to play our part in the West Medina partnership. Help us to find new spiritual leadership which will reflect the love of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for abundant life from all those who have been given bad news about their health or the health of a loved one. Help us to know what to say and when to speak. Help us to be ready, always, to give practical help where we can and to ensure that those on their own are able to manage and cope with daily life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, when death separates us from those we love and we find it hard to live without them, relieve us, relieve us of loneliness and the sense of loss and take from us all bitterness and resentment. We give thanks for lives well lived and for happy memories. May they find rest in eternal joy of heaven and may all who mourn their passing find peace and comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God, we pray today for our friends, our families, and this Christian community. As we go out into this new year, we ask for your loving presence within us to strengthen us in its sorrows and to share in its joys. 
Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And finally, gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand for the peace. We are the body of Christ. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Our offertory hymn is number 374, Just As I Am Without One Plea. 374.
Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for these gifts we have to offer and for all your goodness to us. We ask that your love surround us, your care protect us, and that we may know your peace at all times. Amen. Amen. We say together, may the love of the Lord Jesus draw us to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen us in his service. May the joy of the Lord Jesus fill our souls. Amen. And the blessing. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 565, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. <laughs> 